All right, y'all, so there's this insane small cap coin that literally just came out a couple of weeks ago, but it's already crushing it. Whatever metric you use to try to identify what's going to be the next big things, Personally, I believe that it actually is checking a lot of boxes. And for me personally, I don't usually invest in meme coins. I'm not that type of investor. Meme coins are too sporadic. They are rug pulls a lot of times. It's just a lot of stuff that goes on with meme coins, unless you actually, you know, do your thing and, and get that recognition and become one of the top meme coins, which is, you know, that's, that's a little bit safer to play around with. But yeah, I usually don't do this, but the project just checks all the boxes. And a lot of people that I know, like a lot of mentors, a lot of people way smarter than me, got me on it and told me, yo, check this out. Look at this, this is what they're doing. And yo, ever since I dove into it and saw it for myself, I'm like, yeah, this is this is actually one of those ones, man. So obviously this is the base network. It's going to be on the base network. Well, it is on the base network. And base is a huge narrative right now. Base is really blowing up because it's it's one that works. Like that, that's something that people say. People always make jokes about Solana and how it never works. But yeah, base actually works. So, so people are talking about the base narrative and that's huge. And it's just massive the fact that Coinbase users are going to be able to easily access so much of this stuff. It's going to be easy for Coinbase users to access this stuff in the future. And, and we're going to see a, a huge increase in market caps from this. And, and it's just it's so much that's going to be coming with base. I'm, I'm actually pretty bullish on, on base as a whole. But that being said, let's actually jump into, into the actual project here. As you all might know, the, the, the current king, the current king, is actually having a bad day today. It's down 34%. That's not looking great. That's not looking great at all. Um, there was a little scandal. Um, 81% of the supply is being held by um some some insiders. So yeah, that that sucks for that for that community, man. But I hope that that gets sorted out. I hope that is not true or something. Like we need we need more information on that. But this video is going to be about Chuck. Um, and I do have to make it clear that I am a holder of Chuck. This is what I'm invested in. I only talk about stuff that I'm really invested in most times. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see a point in talking about something that I don't have conviction towards. So yeah, that being said, yeah, I am holding I'm a holder of Chuck, man. Um now let's look at the charts. First thing that I want to point out to you all is look at this. So you got uh oh you can't see it. So basically this is Roost. Roost is down 22%. Roost is down 22% for the day. This is Brett. Brett is down um 17% for the day. Like it's down 17% for the day. And then the, the narrative surrounding this is a lot. Oh, okay, hey, it's coming back bullish. It's coming back a little bullish. Why such a dump? Oh, so they don't, a lot of people don't know what's going on with Brett. Okay. A lot of people haven't heard yet. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it was very bearish, um, very bearish sentiment um, going on today. But then, so as you can see, down 22% for Roost, down 17% um, for Brett. And if you look over here at Chuck, we're up 12 percent we're up 12 percent. the chart looking beautiful like the the chart is actually looking very good like <laughs> you see what i'm saying so for the last month i mean he came out you know you know you get some turbulence it's nothing just goes up in a straight line and then yeah boom look at this so as you can see the chart is actually looking really good strong recovery coming for the chart on, on the chart here and it's showing you that it moves independently of anything else that's currently on base. It's, it's moving independent, it's doing its own thing, it's building its own community. And one thing that I, I actually noticed when it comes down to Chuck, let's check it out. Look look at, before we even go into anything that they're doing in particular, I, they already have 10,000 followers. And then look at the engagement, because I don't go by followers. Like people buy those and stuff all the time. Like I don't I don't trust follower accounts and stuff. But I mean, look, look at so look at the engagement on the stuff that they're posting. So we got like almost 200 there. Three hours ago, 66 right there. Um, 102 right here. Um, 88 right there. 109 right there. 100 right there. And they, they they post very, very consistently too. So this is huge. As you can see, look at how many eyes is on them. People are engaging with their content. They're getting a lot of eyes on a lot of stuff that they do. And they're doing it organically. Look at this. They're always making these funny, hilarious memes, man. So as you can see, Chuck... Then they, they all surrounding Chuck and then you see the little picture and look at that. <laughs> Everybody's just like, this is the memes and stuff that they do on a regular basis. Um, and obviously you want that. You want the memes in a freaking meme coin. But what actually drew me to this project, I told you all, I don't really invest in meme coins. I'm more of an AI gaming narrative. Um, what's going to be the future currency of the world type of investor. I look forward to what things are going to actually impact the world. That's the way that I, I like to approach my investments. 
I, I don't like the AI narrative. I can completely understand that. We already are seeing changes every day in real life that support certain things. But so one thing that actually got me into checking this out is the fact that they have some, they're working with some AI technology. They're actually, this is a meme coin working with AI technology. They already have secured strong partnerships. They have like, they have things coming up. I, I hear that they, I hear they have things coming up potentially in the gaming area. I, I hear that they have things coming up and, um, and, and well, they definitely have AI. AI is already released. They have, um, a little, what is it? A telegram bot or something like that, where you can actually track the market or, or, um, gas prices or something like that. Like, so it's huge. The fact that they're developing things. They're actually coming out developing things very seriously. They've only been out a couple of weeks and they're already developing things. And then they, it's just, um, it's being rumored right now because I've been talking to the team. They say, yo, we might have something in the works. And then the company name that they, that they say that they are potentially talking to right now and trying to work something out with, it's already something that I already hold. It's something that I'm a holder of already. So then I'm like, y'all talking to them already? How? Like, how do you even get in contact with them? So yeah, that was that was crazy. And yeah, like so the more that I've been digging, the more that I've I've found this a very exciting project because it's one of those things that can blow up just for the humor value. The humor value and, and all the funny stuff that they post and stuff like that on a regular basis, it could blow up for that reason. But there's also already things like utilities that they're, they're trying to put into the um into the token. Like it's already stuff that they're trying to build, technology to make it make sense to be holding to be holding Chuck. So it's not just a funny meme coin. It's like it's like they're taking meme coins seriously while still being a really good meme coin. It's crazy. It, it is actually a crazy narrative. I like that. And that's what I like about it. So as you can see here, um, you see the little we're making moves, little dump truck, dropping money around, Chuck to a buck. So as you can see, Chuck to a buck. It's shooting up. So they, they're making their little nice little animations and stuff. Um, obviously it's on base. It's on base. The future of meme coins. Hey, that's the narrative I'm running with. Hey, cause the meme coin I'm holding is on base. So that mean base is the future, bro. Like that. That's how it is. I'm loyal to base. This is what, this is the first meme coin that made me want to jump into it. And it's on base. So base is where it's at, bro. Like that's how I go. Look at this strong dog and everything. Uh Oh, uh Oh, Look what it did. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. They're gonna be in their feelings. They're gonna be in their feelings when they see that. No. Mm. Alright, but yeah. Like, I'm gonna let y'all watch some of this by by yourself. But look at this. You already have big influencers. Look at this. Check. Let me see. Um, check out um Wendy. So as you can see, she's already big. Almost four hundred thousand followers right here. And she's talking about it already. So if let, um see. the next story. Um, I am also giving a shout out to Chuck on base. Um, Chuck is a base project. So those of you who are asking to degen on base, um, the reason why we're giving base a shout out is they sent a $350 donation to the self care lab um, for, for me. So if um, big, big shout out to them. So we're giving them a shout out. And it's a dog themed meme coin on base. The token is a passport to an exclusive club owning Chuck grants access to to the Telegram group and Chuckbot. Their bot provides crucial insights into markets and more. Get access to NFTs, games, and exclusive content, and you can earn Chuck transaction includes a 0.99% tax, and a portion is allocated to supporting dog charities, but they've been so kind enough to donate to the self-care lab. If you guys would like to donate to the self-care lab, selfcarelab.com. So shout out to Chuck. Um, not that is huge. This is a huge selling point. They got me too. They're donating to charities. They're already donating to charities. So for them to be taking this type of stance where like we're going to be donating to charities, we're going to be doing something actual, actually good and valuable to society with our meme coin, for them to already be working with AI technology, for them to already be trying to secure big partnerships and a listing is coming. Uh, um, So let me see, where is that at? Let's jump straight to that. They're going to be getting listed. Just submitted our request to um, list Chuck on CoinGecko. So they're already trying to list on exchanges and, and get the ball rolling here. Um, so they're trying to, they're trying to, they're, they're working on a, a, lot, a lot of different things. <laughs> Excuse me. Your boy's getting over a cold right now, man. Um, and it's not been fun at all. Like, that's really why I haven't really been posting much. But um, then I've been busy. 2.8 million market cap. This was, but, but yeah, Chuck, 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 Chuck. 
So this is, I think this is the one, Chuck on base. This is 2.8 million market cap. This was launched uh, a few weeks ago. It's a good chart, um, actually. For a meme coin, yeah. that's a good chart. Yeah, I mean, it's been around. It looks solid. I mean, 2.8, this is in the range of things that, that we like. Um, let's see. We're getting some information. Lock liquidity, 20% liquid. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll have to dig into that. This is some of those things. Sometimes it doesn't say the information here. It conflicts sometimes with Dex tools. Often we try to look into these things a bit and we'll find out. Sometimes you end up refreshing the site later the next day and it actually does reflect that. So you need to take a little bit with uh, this with a grain of salt. Sometimes the correct information isn't always always what's listed. That, what's that contract Sorry. address end in? Is that uh, FB1A? Yep, FB1A. Is that the correct one? Yeah, so uh, Dex screen or, or Dex tools shows that the liquidity is locked. So there's other ways that we can look at this. So we like, oh, also this liquidity yep. is only locked for five months. 98% uh, or 96% of the liquidity is locked for five months. Not that that's bad, they can extend that um, or add more locked liquidity, but- In the first five months, not bad, you, you know, could be possible. Uh, Just make sure it doesn't go to 100 to million on. and then uh, you get pulled on. But Chuck, that's another thing, we'll join the community and we'll be back and talk about that more on Friday. Yeah, I think so, uh, looking especially because we're looking for a lot more things on base. All right, so yeah, usually when when companies lock the liquidity, then they're trying to show, build trust, show you that yo, we're here to stay. We we have a you know five month plan at least. We're going to be here. You can be safe for the next five months. You can feel set safety for the next five months and stuff like that. Um, and I mean that's huge. Being able to lock lock away some stuff so you don't feel like you're going to get rugged and, and things like that. But at the same time, like you said, it can be extended. And depending on what they do and, and what's being like. As the community continues to grow and the community continues to build, they are the type of people that kind of, I've tweeted about them a couple of times and they've shown up on a couple of my tweets. Um, so they they are constantly anybody who's talking about Chuck, I see them just going through talking to everybody. So they're constantly looking at what the community has going on. They're doing it, in my opinion, the right way. Um, so, yeah, that that's something that's very common with with how they how they are approaching this and something that I like. So if it's something that scares investors. I know that they'd probably be willing to change that. Like, so it's, it's, I think that they're moving and doing everything correctly in my opinion. And that that's what's got me excited about this, about the future of this. Now, I will say, like I say, I don't invest in meme coins. So for me, this is a gamble regardless. Like this is, it's always, a meme coin to me is a gamble. I, I'm, this is casino money for me right now. Like, I'm not finna sit here and put no real, real investment. Like, personally, it's just not my thing. Like, if you, like, if you got it to blow and it's like a huge chunk or something like that, maybe. Like, that. that's cool for you. But I think that everybody should, should you know, allocate their money within their means. Like, don't try to do something that's that you're not in a position to do. Like, that. that's personally how I approach investing. So, yeah. I take meme coins with a grain of salt right now. Now, the more that they start to deliver upon the things that I'm hearing, the more that they get listed on exchanges and stuff like this. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna start diving a lot deeper because I like companies that say that they're gonna do something and then they start actually doing it and then they do it fast. They're moving quick. They they say that they're working with um working with companies trying to secure deals and stuff like this. They're doing this very very fast. So I like to see that. Like I said, like and and then like they said, it's a, it's a healthy looking chart. Things are looking really, really good for this project right now. So it I'm bullish on it. I'm definitely bullish on it right now, but I still want to see what they do. What are they going to accomplish? Are they going to keep their word? I was recently just part of a project who promised the world. So, you know, like, listen, I'm still I'm still tender, man. I'm still I, I got be gentle with me. <laughs> like, no, it's it's like <clears throat> a project that I was with just promised the world and then ain't delivered in like what four or five years. So um, yeah, and I'm patient. I'm, I'm not rushing somebody. I'm not the type to sit here and say, oh, you got to do this year one. I'm willing to wait till the next bull run. Now, for a meme coin, I don't know. A next bull run might be crazy. But, I mean, when the when they stick around that long, holding until the next bull run could be a play. It could definitely be a play because that tends to work out sometimes if you're like, oh, I'm going to just leave a small bag here. Uh, let, let's, let's not, you know, let's add to it during the next bear market, and then we going we gonna to cash out on the next bull. Like if the play is good enough, even for a meme coin, that works. Like you saw with the Dogecoin millionaire, 
um that 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 did well for him like he actually came back and his his you know his net worth revived but yeah so yeah let me know what you all think in the comments down below <laughs> um there we have it your boy yeah, yeah, yeah. The, my, my voice going away right now so yeah we're gonna end it here but if you haven't do, do your own research as this i'm not a financial advisor do your own research into chuck see what you think let me know like because all of the information is here you can have all the information you can look at the funny memes and stuff like that but all the information of, of what they're actually doing like look at this they don't they donated five four thousand dollars to dog charities um <clears throat> like you can actually see what they're doing and decide if you want to get behind something like this but i just wanted to show you all the opportunity i want to show you all that it, it, it exists and it has a low a, a low um a low market cap right now it, it's, it has a very low market cap right now so you all know how these things can get like i'm not saying that it's gonna hit 500 million or something like that out of nowhere or hit a billion i'm just saying y'all know how this could get right now it's currently at 3 million so it's, it's that's that's fairly low that is fairly low so let me know what you all think be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications and i will catch you all on the next one peace out fam